Hey guys, it's Mike from The Art of Guitar. Today I wanted to show you a really fun and educational technique, making your guitar talk. Now what's great about this is the first time I really heard it was Steve Vai on Yankee Rose, uh, playing for David Lee Roth. And then on his solo album, Passion and Warfare, Steve Vai did uh, The Audience is Listening, and he had this back and forth dialogue with his teacher. And I thought, man, that's a really cool trick to play on the guitar. Okay, so what you need in order to do this technique, wah pedal for sure, and then a really good trem system on your guitar. So having the trem bar is very helpful in adding some different uh, expressive elements to what you're playing versus just having to rely on bending. So it's nice to have the ability to just go that kind of thing if you need to. All right, so you're gonna hear a lot of that with this talking guitar stuff, um, a lot of bends happening, then combine it with wah pedal and you have something that's pretty close to a talking guitar. So if you listen to Yankee Rose, David Lee Roth goes, wow. And then Steve I follows it by copying it by going like this. Wow! And yeah, it sounds a little bit like a cat doing it, but it's close enough. You know, we can call it a talking guitar even if it's a cat voice. Okay, so here's what I did in detail. I engaged the wah pedal so it's ready to go. I brought it all the way down so it's real bassy sounding. It's at the closed side of the wah. And then I bent the third string ninth fret E up as I push the wah pedal and engage it all the way open. And then I went the opposite way when my when the uh, note came down, the foot went back. All right, that's one element to it. And then we're gonna add the trim bar to it. I know some people want me to call it a vibrato bar, but nobody calls it a vibrato bar. It's a whammy bar or a trim bar in my world. Okay, so all you need to do now is you need to press the whammy bar in depress it, I guess they call it. Pick the note, bend it, and then let the whammy bar come back when it's at the full bend. And then you do everything opposite when you go back. So it's kind of this opening and closing sensation with everything you're doing. All right, when you put it together, it actually sounds like it's saying wow, which is kind of cool. All right, and then he also does the old, old school, old fashioned cat call as well. And a lot of people on stage will just go like this. They'll just, uh, even without a whammy bar, they'll just go, you know, they'll get that kind of sound. But if you add a uh, wah pedal and the whammy bar, it actually accentuates it quite a bit more, makes it sound a little more human. All right, so that's another trick you can do. I wouldn't recommend doing it these days, but it's fun to practice at home. And so I did end up taking a little bit of dialogue from a past video that I made and I studied it. I put it in the computer, I put it in this program called Melodyne where I could examine the notes that were actually being said. I've always loved that riff for that song. And I was really surprised at the amount of pitches that I was hitting just talking because I really don't have the most dynamic voice. So it was surprising to see the notes actually moving around. Okay, so I figured out the notes, then I played it on the guitar and then I added these elements and I tried to get it to sound as close as possible. It was way more difficult than I thought, but uh, here's the phrase one more time. I've always loved that riff for that song. All right, so the notes that were being said were these. <laughs> Now, it doesn't quite sound like talking yet. It doesn't really sound like my, my uh, dialogue. But now, let's start to add other elements to it. So what I want to do now is add a little bit of the trem bar. And what's great about the trem bar in this situation is the notes that you talk are not perfectly in pitch. You're not going to talk in auto-tune. That'd be kind of weird. So the voice has a lot of variability to it. So if you sort of just mess with the trem bar as you're following the notes, it gives it more of a human characteristic. <laughs> So it might be hard to see, but I have my palm on the trem bar. As I pick, I sort of depress it and let it go a little bit. All right, let's listen to the dialogue again. I've always loved that riff for that song. Isn't that weird? Now you can hear the pitch start to happen. Okay, let's add a little bit of the wah pedal. Start to sound like Charlie Brown's teacher now. I've always loved that riff for that song. I've always loved that riff for that song. I've always loved that riff for that song. Okay, even I'm tired of my own voice. Anyways, so that was really fun to figure out, and like I said, very educational. It opens up a whole other avenue of expression of the guitar. Because if you're just practicing soloing and scales and all that, that's one thing, that's great. But to be able to make your guitar sound a little more human is just another element that we don't really think about all the time. All right, everyone, hopefully you can have fun with that. Implement that into your own playing. Open up some brand new creative avenues and let me know how it goes, all right? All right, guys, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.